And in the studio with Oliver and I today, we have one of Africa's finest dancers, choreographers, impersonators, and also a coach of the Dance Academy. It is the one and only Hilary Jackson. Thank you so much Thank for joining so us. Much for How are you doing today? I'm fine, Please, let's just show everybody that shaku shaku you gave us off <laughs> real quick. I'm, I'm already still uh, in the Jackson mode, you know? Give it to us, just a quick five second one. Please close up and no, continue. Hmm. They have not caught you on close up. You have to continue until they catch you on close up. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. Have you guys seen a shaku that sweet? <laughs> no. Can your shaku shaku ever? Can your shaku shaku ever? It's yeah. great to have you, you on the show. You. Thank you so much. I'm happy to be here. Great. So let's get into it. So let's start off with the beginning of your career. How did Hillary Jackson get into dance? Um, I started dancing since the age of 12. Right back then in school. Ah, you are the first person that didn't start when you were from your mother's womb no, in a long no, no. time. Ah, I that's can't good. Start from 12 years old and um, then I was in primary six. I love coming to the front of the class and do the moonwalk. And my friends would say, wow, this guy, Hillary Jackson, Hillary Jackson. I like going to birthday parties, winning prizes like chocolates, you know, and all that. And all style like that. So when I got to secondary school, I started presenting my school in dance competitions. And I was uh, standing, I was standing up. That's how it all started. Amazing. And then you decided to add the name Jackson to no, your name. No, or is that yeah. your father's name? No, no, not really. Hillary is the name. Okay. Hillary. My real names are Hillary Chinonso Uzoka. But my friends would say, since you look like Jackson, you like doing like Jackson. I like keeping the Jerry Coys and you know changing different styles. They say, okay, let's call him Hillary Jackson. So what, what intrigued or fascinated you about Michael Jackson? Well, um, what really intrigued me was first is moonwalk. When I was young, I, I used to think he was using tires under those shoes. So whenever he does that, and I'm watching that on TV, there's this program they call Sunday Rendezvous on TV then. So when I keep watching it, I was like, man, what is this? I told my mom, mom, get me those shoes that has tires. He said, no, that's not real. That thing you're seeing is moonwalk. He's really he's doing it like the shoes, no shoes like tires. I was not, you know, I was not believing it until the day I started trying it in the parlor. And I found out I was getting it gradually. And if I knew I love his style, I, I, I see myself being different. When I go out there, they see me special. They treat me special. They give me like three chocolates, four chocolates. They give other kids one chocolate. So I feel like, oh, I think Jackson is good. So it's I making so it I call me Jackson. Yeah. That's really good, though. That's really good. And you also impersonate him, like we were saying. So, yeah, you impersonate him with the dance moves, but do you also impersonate him with the voice? Oh, uh, not really. You know, I can't be like Michael Jackson. Yeah. I have to be sincere. He's the only one, the greatest dance legendary, you know. But I believe that with his um, style, you know, infused to my, I do dance combinations. I do popping, I do locking, I do dubstep, I do Michael Jackson, and I do Nigerian circular dances. But I found out that when I took that Michael Jackson legacy, I was different. I was seen in a different perspective, not like other dancers. You know, Shaku Shaku comes and go, Shaki comes and go, but Michael Jackson remains. So that style makes it look different. So I decided to stay, you know, 50% with Michael Jackson style. All right, you've been involved in a few competitions. You were part of Gong Chai, produced by Wazobia TV and presented yeah. by Nidu. Yeah. And you've been in several other competitions. You even won one that had that gave you a car. Yeah. So would you say that those competitions, being a part of those competitions, encouraged you or made you decide to be a part of dance? Now, there are certain people that say, I love dance, I want to dance. But they don't realize that they want to make it a professional career, a professional yeah. um, path, until they realize that they can profit from it. So at what point did you decide you wanted to profit from dance? Was it before you started participating in these competitions or after these competitions that you were no, It was before in? I started participating in this competition. I didn't, at first when I was starting dancing, I used to see it like an hobby. I got to a set, a stage where like 2005, I said, I mean, dance is a profession. I don't see it as an hobby anymore because dance started paying my bills. I used dance to, you know, pay school fees, do other things, send myself to school. And I found out that, man, it's worth dying for. Mm. It's worth doing. If I take dance as an hobby, I would not have passion for it. I would be doing it for the money. But without the money, we would do free shows. The passion was just there. So when the competition came on board, man, it was just easy for me. It was just like the same thing I keep doing when I was entertaining my fans. So I was not doing it after the uh, competition. I started doing it before the competition. So do you believe that there are challenges that dancers face in the entertainment industry in Nigeria today that maybe they wouldn't face in other parts of the world? What would you say are the hardest and greatest challenges that you have to face as a dancer trying to become possibly the greatest African dancer of all time? Well, um, the challenges I go through is that they don't value dancers for now. We are not um, giving that space to showcase ourselves like we want to. Thank God for the comedians, for the musicians and all that, you know. When they do their musical videos, they want dancers to feature in. But you find out that when they show you on TV, it's no more than 15 seconds. 
you know. So I, I, the challenge in dance in Nigeria is really ethic because people don't give you that um, room to, you know, express the way you want it. So the challenge here is that we need a platform for God to give us that platform for us to showcase ourselves. We need a show of our own. I don't think it's God that will give you that platform. Uh, we, I think we, you guys would have to create a platform. That, definitely, we have to, but we need investors too. We need people who to believe in dance. It's, it's people that sign uh, whiskey and co. You know, we, we want people to sign dancers as well. In okay. overseas, the sign dancers. A company can say, okay, I want to sign you to be a dance ambassador for this brand. Uh, give us a show, create the content, and before you know, dance have a stage. Like for instance. DTS with Hillary Jackson, Dance to Stardom with Hillary Jackson, a TV program, a stage, people pay ticket to come watch. You see dances like hip hop, salsa, ballet, contemporary, and so on. That's an idea you just put out yeah. there. Maybe you should actually work on it. Now, there are people, people who have charted a path, you know, created their own name through dance. We have the likes of Kathy, yeah. who, was a, who is a Guinness World Breaker through dance. We also had the likes of Pinky Debbie, who did, yeah. who broke a record last year. Jason attempted last year as well. So there are several people who have found a way to want to break through in the dance industry. Do you at any point in the future think you'll be competing for a Guinness World Record? Or um, what okay. other feats should we expect from you? Uh, well, by the special grace of God, in the future, I intend to enter the Guinness Book of Record, but in a different style. Uh, I, apart from Kathy doing the energetic thing, getting there, is exceptional. We have the likes of Kafi, um, the likes of Don Flex, we have the likes of Ijodi, we have the likes of Yukalina, so many dancers. Ice Wiki. Whoa, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. That's that's a legend in dance. We have Victor Fulu, we have Danzi, we have Boss DMT. So, but what I'm looking at is in getting to the Guinness Book of Record, you could just create any platform. For instance, imagine the longest slow motion ever. That could give you a platform. Or the best impersonator of Michael Jackson. Something like that. But being in a Guinness Book of Record is not only an achievement. But my own achievement is impacting others to stand up, for dance to stand in Nigeria, for dance to have mm. a solid say. If I just make it for myself to be the Guinness Book of Record, what about others who are coming? What would they see? So we need to create a platform just like the likes of um, Ebenezer Obey, the. Um, Sonia, the two phase, the creative platform for whiskey. If you actually that. win that, you know, that would also be a way of creating platform for other younger people. Because yeah. younger people will see you and see something to look up to. Like yeah, DJ yeah. Obi when he broke exactly. the world record for the longest DJ set. Sometimes it's a good thing to have within the profile. But then again, you have your own plans, Hillary. You know what you want to do. So yeah. quickly tell us, what do you want to do or where do you see yourself going in the next five years? Yeah, what I want to do in the next five years by the special guest is that I want to create a platform of dance where dancers will be celebrated. We are dancers, we call dance artists. We are tired of being called dancers. For instance, somebody will see he's a dancer, she's a dancer. Anybody can be a dancer, you're a dancer. But a dance artist is somebody who takes dance as a profession, who makes money from it, who creates other opportunities for other dancers to make money. So what I want to do is I want to create a platform, like I said, DTS with Hillary Jackson. We are dancers will be celebrated. So and we want to pick that, you know, out there, go to dancers on the street, people who see who take dance, like street dance, we want to take them to be a dance artist, that they can make money from it. They can be okay. endorsed. So that's what I see. So how can people contact you for more information? How can people also get involved in your dance academy if they wish yeah, so? You want to contact me on Instagram, at Hillary Jackson Dance. And my dance academy is Hillary Jackson Dance Academy. Hillary Jackson Dance So you academy. train people at your dance academy? Definitely. I teach people how to dance. I can teach you how to dance. Can you teach me how to do that, your shaku shaku? It's the sweetest one I've seen so far. Okay, like, I think that I... is how we're going to wrap up the show. Yeah. With Hillary teaching us his break dance shaku shaku. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.